I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Gigi Rojan, a senior on the Palo Alto water polo team. Last week, uh, Palo Alto uh, went 4-1. and one. They won a SCVL De Anza Division contest, and they headed into the Aptos Tournament, and they went 3-0, and oh, captured that tournament as well. During the week, uh, Gigi had 16 goals, 14 steals. She had nine assists, helped Palo Alto start the season 6-3 and three over the last couple weeks. And for that performance, she is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. It's always good to win a tournament. You were 3-0 and in the Aptos Tournament. What was the best thing do you think that came out of that event? I think it was a great learning experience for the team. Uh, we really focused on being like, um, have, having great communication and awareness. And I think um, having that experience with a tournament that um, we felt very confident in, we could uh, really work as a team and be able to make great passes, make um, really work on counter attacks. And just overall, our communication was a lot better um, compared to the tournament from uh, the previous week. Your coach Eileen Delaney said uh, the key thing to this year's team is you have a lot of players who uh, really work together and the, and the uh, communication is great and uh, the senior leadership is there. I know the last couple of years it's, it's been tough for you guys, but uh, last year 15 and 16 overall, you, know, you got to CCS, but obviously there's lots to work on. What do you think the strength of this year's team is? Um, I think our team is very like naturally talented. We also have a great team dynamic. dynamic. Um, we uh, we have a lot of speed, so a lot of like talent. I think since our team's always been kind of young, we haven't had very many upperclassmen these last few years. Like for us to finally be like the younger part to grow up and be the um, like the leaders of the team, it's definitely um, uh, like just it's what we've been waiting for, kind of um, because. Now that we have like all this natural talent, especially with we have more younger players this year too. Once they start becoming more aware of what's happening, just their like um, speed just comes into play, and we I think we're going to be great this year. What do you think your role on this year's team is? I think um, as one of the uh, older players, it's very important for me to be a, a good role model and. Um, be more like a positive uh, influence and leader on this team because they're like I said they're very young and um, they don't have a lot of them don't have very much experience so just helping them out in the water kind of coaching in the water is what I'm really trying to work for this year. Again for the last few years uh, uh, two years ago Pally did not even compete in CCS and uh, the league uh, has sort of been dominated by gun the last few years and I'm sure there's a lot of goals that you guys probably have uh, primarily uh, beat Gunn and maybe win the league title this year, get back to CCS and, and uh, get deep into the tournament finally. The Palo Alto hasn't got to the semi since 2006, hasn't won a title since 1999. But uh, does this team have the, the talent and experience to do some of those things? I think we definitely do. Um, but for this game, um, Gunn, this, this upcoming week, uh, we're, we've been really f focusing on like defense and um, because it's just like it, everything starts out with defense and I think that um, if we really work as a team we can definitely it'll definitely be a great game and for this the, like the league tournament and CCS I think we can get a lot farther than we have these past years based on like what talent we have in the team. Good luck the rest way congratulations. Thank you.